hobbled together. Oh, I gotta get up. Shoot. Right. I'll get up and then I'll grab you. shaky. This, these pellets for this wood stove don't seem to be putting out as much heat as the other one did. I'm going to adjust it here. Let what's in there burn out because there seems to be a big pile right there. See, right there, pile. there's a big pellet that are just stacking up and not burning. So I'm going to turn it down while I'm making coffee and get those to burn off. Because it's got air that runs under it. And I don't think the air is getting to that portion of it. <clears throat> and burning those things, stacking up and stopping the airflow. All right, now i got to get up these steps. I'm telling you, when you're young, you think, oh, I'm going to get a house that's got a staircase. And when you get old, you think, oh, I hurt so bad, i got to climb that staircase. And I've only got two steps to get up, but it's pretty difficult. Only two. Just two little steps. All right, let me get up here. What I do is I tip this walker on its back wheels. I'm not really doing any lifting. I'm just tipping it. Alright. I need an attachment on my walker for myself, for my phone, for my what is this thing? My GoPro. It's gonna be dark out here. So brace yourselves. I'll get lights on as soon as I can. Maybe I'll just pause until I get out there. Seven o'clock. I had my meds in me for an hour, so they ought to start helping, right? I think so. My mom, bless her heart, my birthday, as you all know, was on the 21st of December. <clears throat> she called me and asked me what, what kind of cake I wanted. My mom's really good at making cakes. And before I even knew it, the words were coming out of my mouth. I want one of your spice cakes, Mama. So we were supposed to go to my sister's, Cammie's house um, in Outwater for Christmas. And I, I just couldn't do it. I was hurting too bad. So Mama brought me my spice cake. Um, this is it. You can buy spice cake in the store in a box. And, and then this, Mom, it's cinnamon, sugar, cloves, I think. Maybe some, I, I don't know, I don't know. Some kind of spices. Anyway, you heat the sugar part of it up and put it on top of the cake. Good. Really good. So, see this, Mom. Thank you so much for the spice cake. It is the spot. 
it was pretty yummy. I may have to have some more today. Come on, coffee pot, finish. <laughs> Ooh, don't spill the coffee. Okay. Now, I gotta figure out how to get this coffee down there without making a bunch of trips. Oh. I think what I'll do is put them here. See, I've got a fridge right here that you're sitting on. And now I'll get down with the walker. Again, what I do is I put my right leg down first so I don't have to twist my hip or my knee or my ankle to get down the steps, and it helps a lot. And I'm telling you, people, this is important. Don't, hang on, I need a sip. I know uh, that people's first reaction to having a heart attack or falling down and hurting themselves, the first reaction is, I'm fine, there's nothing wrong, I can do it, no, don't call an ambulance. And that's okay, that's just a natural response. I've worked in hospitals and it's just a natural human response. But there comes a time when, I know you've all probably heard this, you just finally have to, like me, I'll just cut to the chase. Um, this walker was here for a long time. My girlfriend left it here when she was staying here. She had it for her mama. And she told me. Marianne, go in there, get the walker and use it so that if your left leg gets weak and you fall, you've got something to hang on to. Oh, I don't need a walker. I'll be fine. That, you know, I'm not that bad, blah, blah, blah. You know, the stigma of using a walker. And it took me a while <laughs> to break down, and pull the walker out, and be the old lady, you know, and use it. But in all honesty, first of all, it works great to carry stuff back and forth so I don't have to carry it. <coughs> um, but, you know, it, it does help. It helps me get up and down the stairs. It helps me make it into the kitchen if I get to a place where I'm in so much pain I can't stand it. It's got a little seat on it. I don't have to, and it's high, high enough that I can get on it easily, not like this couch. You know, I don't. I could just turn around and sit down instead of out in the living room. Okay, I've got this far. I've got to turn around and go to the kitchen table or couch, whatever. It's right there. It's got brakes on it. You know, it's like a Cadillac. Anyway, don't, I don't want to say pride. Don't let your pride get in your way. Don't let your stubbornness get in the way. If, if you're hurting, if you need help, if using a walker or a cane or even a wheelchair for a while, you know, is going to help you, do it. You know, it's not a permanent thing. It's not a sign of weakness. You know, it's like taking a Tylenol or an aspirin or whatever when you got a headache. You just do it to help you. Anyway, enough of, enough of the lecture. All right, I'm going to drink my coffee. I need to get somebody to put a chair by that fire so I can sit by the fire. I love being able to do that. It's so comforting. It's like being camping, which I will do again. Um, as soon as I'm over this, um, I do plan on going to Redmond to see my mother-in-law. Um, and on up to Seattle again to visit my daughter and her kids. 
probably won't be till like early spring because I don't want to run into any snow or road problems. But there is a trip coming up. Right now I can't even think about going. Well, I'm thinking about it, but physically I can't go yet. Hurts too bad. Between the pills and the shower, I think I'm feeling better. Still hurting like H E double toothpick. But those are cold. Anyway, I think I'm going to I don't want to crawl back in bed. It's hard to drink coffee in bed when you can't sit up. You know, at that little angle that people sit there and drink coffee. Not happening. But, um, I think I'm going to turn the TV on and watch a movie, drink my coffee. Usually what I do is I lay on a couch on my side and it's not as uncomfortable as anything else. I mean, all right, I'm going to end this one here. Well wishes, prayers, happy thoughts. Oh, I haven't got to go outside at all to do the drone. And I haven't been able to go outside to do the review of that. Was it a wireless charger phone holder for the truck? But I will get to it as soon as I'm able to get out there. I did buy, it's a, it's a cigarette lighter, you plug it in the cigarette lighter, and it has a USB port because that charger that the company sent me to do the review only has a USB port. It doesn't have um, the cigarette lighter thing. So I did buy that. So as soon as I can get out to the truck, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll take it with me on the 29th when I go to Merced. Anyway. All right, I'm going to go.